naturally have something that no one can take away from you. Let's celebrate freedom. Happy Independence Day and a good morning everyone. Yes, team principal, headmistress, the teacher's guests, my volunteers, dear students and parents. Today, we have gathered of success by celebrating the 75th Independence Day of our beloved country, India. From the core of our hearts, on behalf of the entire school fraternity, I welcome you all to today's function. Our chief guest, Mrs. Amelia Pereira, our principal, Reverend Father Rajesh Bansare, our headmistress, Mrs. Shanti Das, teachers, our SEC workers, and all dear parents. I now request Mrs. Seema and Mrs. Sandra to kindly escort the chief guest and the dignitaries to the stage. I am the light of the world and so he has called us to be that same light to the world. Like every other auspicious occasion, let's start this event by offering prayers to the Almighty and conduct a customary lamp lighting ceremony. Requesting our honored guest, this is Amelia Pereira, our principal, Reverend Father Rajesh Bensode, our headmistress, Mrs. Shanti Dev Das, to come up and light the lamp, symbolizing the presence of the omnipresent God.
for lighting the lamp. I request the guests to be seated. Let me brief you on the importance and significance of the day. The Prime Minister of India had launched Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. This is Amelia is always in the front when it comes to helping the poor and the needy. She is an inspiration to many students as well as Independence Day and for the Independence Day speech 
Put your hands together for Miss Nandini Chatta. I take this pleasure to invite our chief guest to address the gathering. Happy Independence Day and heartily good morning to my dear patriots. 21 years ago, I made a tryst with destiny when I had stepped in St. Joseph High School as a teacher. And this time has come when I am reliving my dreams. I feel privileged and honored for being given an opportunity to hoist our tricolor flag. On this auspicious occasion, for which I thank our principal. Reverend Father Rajesh Bansuri and our headmistress, Mrs. Shanti Devdas, for giving me this honor. Our beloved former president, APJ Abdul Kalam, has poignantly directed us to ponder on how to shape an elevated mind, and I quote him If a country is to be corruption free and become a nation of beautiful minds, I strongly feel there are three societal members who can make a difference. They are the father, the mother, and the teacher. In a simple style, he reminds us of our responsibility towards our children. The inheritance that we all can leave them with a school is much more than an institution of learning to me. It is a temple that educates the young generation, molds its character, creates a new intellectual leader, builds an integrated self. That is why it is an institution of higher learning. As teachers, we need to impart these words, a responsive understanding and nurture and impart the treasure of knowledge. As students, my young friends, you need to be willing to absorb the new ideas. Learn to be diligent and focus in achieving your goal. Set a goal, I would say. As I conclude my speech, I would just like to say that we all need to remind ourselves that never ask what my country gave me. Instead say, what can I give to my country? According to Netaji Subhas Chandra Bose, I quote, one individual may die for an idea, but that idea will, after his death, incarnate itself into thousand lives. Happy Independence Day and happy peace to all. Jai Hind, Jai Maharashtra. मातृभूमि की शान का है हम लहराएंगे हर जगह ये तिरंगा नशा ये हिंदुस्तान की शान का है As we come to the end of today's Independence Day celebration, I request the teachers to kindly escort the dignitaries to the office.